Armed with iconic moments in history, the city of Birmingham is out to join the tourism ranks of world-renowned landscapes, archaeological remains, national parks, and even royal palaces. The goal is to be designated as one of the United Nations educational, scientific, and cultural organizations World Heritage Sites. It will be a very big designation for us to have. It would continue to bring in more tourism to our city. Uh, it bring in more international appeal and draw to our city. And I believe that we will be successful. City leaders say Birmingham's contribution to human rights makes it universally significant. Although not necessarily represented by any one symbolic building, much like the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, which is believed to be the birthplace of Jesus, the pilgrimage route is included in the World Heritage Site. If chosen, the Civil Rights Trail and historically significant spots around the state, like Montgomery and Selma, would be among the places people would be encouraged to visit. It wouldn't be just be for the city of Birmingham, but it would be a whole swath of the state of Alabama, with Birmingham being at the epicenter of it. Uh, but it would, it would uh, identify the routes, the marches, the paths that people took to uh, gain equality and for social reform and justice for all people. Today has been a great day for the city of Birmingham. Birmingham has unveiled its latest project, which it believes will be an international symbol for freedom and will secure the designation. The Freedom Center will honor the Constitution, military veterans, and the civil rights movement. That would reach out to the rest of the world and say, look, we've overcome our challenges. You can overcome your challenges. Once upon a time, people said that the bombings and the lynchings would never stop here in the state of Alabama, but they did. Now you have people in the Middle East and in Asia, they said things will never change. Well, it can change if good men and women will come together. It is our hope that this Freedom Center will bring voices from around the world to Birmingham, Alabama to study what has happened in the past and to make a plan for the future. And that's our goal. Because there were people in our community from all walks of life, black, white, young, old, rich and poor, who joined hands together and marched through our city streets and said that we shall overcome and we did. And so that's something I think that we should always remember, we should always celebrate. UNESCO is taking the $10 million state-of-the-art project located next to the Civil Rights Institute into consideration. Plans also include renovating the neighboring A.G. Gaston Motel. The Freedom Center promises to be something short, no short of spectacular. So we invite all that know, all that hear our voice uh, to come to Birmingham as we unveil this wonderful opportunity known as the Freedom Center. The fact that though that the people back in the 50s and the 60s fought and stood up for justice and equality in the face of so many different obstacles and were ultimately successful in changing the course of human history. And so that's why the city of Birmingham is ideally situated and uniquely qualified to be the next World Heritage Site. For all the latest news and information, connect with our community or visit our website and subscribe to news updates.